Welcome back. For a number of reasons, many people aren't getting enough vitamin D to stay healthy. Uh, now, this is called vitamin D deficiency. Joining us today is Dr. Ty B. Young, uh, internal medicine physician with UT Erlanger East Primary Care, as we talk about the vitamin D deficiency. What, is, what does it do for us? Well, vitamin D, you know, it's a vitamin, uh, and it's obviously been around for a long time, and we've known, known about it, but we're starting to learn more and more about its effects on overall health. There's a lot of links to diseases that we previously had no idea it was linked to, um, and we're even seeing it anecdotally in practice associated with some real minor things, just kind of, hey, I don't feel so good mm -hmm. um, finding vitamin D deficiency. So it, it serves a, a wide range of functions. Are there symptoms or, or, or some signs that you maybe need vitamin D? Well, there's not really symptoms per se, um, and, and that's kind of the thing about it is it's one of those things that can be elusive. You don't necessarily know you're deficient. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that says, hey, I need to go have my vitamin D level checked. But yeah. um, through research, we've linked vitamin D deficiency with several disease states. Um, we found there's a link with um, coronary artery disease and folks who have heart attacks, um, strokes, cancer. Um, there's some minor links with childhood asthma. Um, and certainly, you know, bone and mineral metabolism. We've been talking about vitamin D deficiency for, for several, several years with osteoporosis and that type of thing. So we're finding a lot of, lot of um, connections. Hmm. Uh, should people take vitamin D supplements uh, even though they may eat well, or is it tied or not? Yeah, you know, it's kind of variable as to the diet. I mean, vitamin D is not found, it's not found in a wide range of dietary sources. Uh, we mainly see it coming from... Um, Milk certainly is fortified, mm. a lot of cereals are fortified, but really egg yolks, fish and fish oils, um, cheeses are kind of some of the main you know, things that most of us are exposed to yeah. that we can get those from. Uh, so we are more and more recommending a supplement. Yeah. Is it important, well I guess it is, uh, how much you take because they have what, thousands? Use uh, 2,000, 3,000, uh, you know, how, how do you know when you've got the right dosage? Yeah, yeah, that's a, good, that's a great question. Vitamin D is measured in international units, so you'll, you'll sometimes, you know, we're, we're used to thinking about milligrams, but it's dosed in international units, and the RDA, the recommended daily allowance, has, has changed. It used to be low. It used to be 200 international, unit, international units a day. It's been up to 600 international units a day. If you're over 70, it's 800 international units a day, and most of us are starting to believe that it's probably closer to a thousand international units a day so when you go look for a supplement I would say look for that supplement that's at least 600 international units a day certainly you can get into toxicity uh, that question might be coming you know can you take too much well you can yeah. um, so you know I would say be careful about toxicity but for the most part I have not seen it we're seeing people who are deficient and who need more goodness gracious it's, uh, it's quite interesting, and as you said, the medical community has been rather excited about it for yep. some time. That's good. Thank sure. you, sir. We appreciate it very much. By the way, uh, UT Erlanger East Primary Care, located on the Erlanger East Campus at 1751 Girl, Gr G Gun Barrel Road. Easy for me to say. Uh, suite 201. The phone number, 423-778. 8909 or you can go online erlanger.org now let's join Howard in the uh, Mr. Food test kitchen uh, he has the lowdown on the rice and classic dish uh, that fits almost any meal lemon garlic rice watch this <laughs> 